Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a new product. It's the UTG Red Laser. Um, the model number is right there, the LS268. Um, I'll just show you the back of the case here. It just shows you exactly what uh, comes with it. You have the uh, laser itself, uh, four batteries, which is uh, great to have. Um, you have the um, pressure switch, uh, and I'll explain what that is if you're not too sure what that is. And you have this... Um, tactical laser ring they call it. I mean it's just really the mount and the details uh, on everything is uh, just right there as follows. I'll explain a little bit more while we're going on with this. So uh, we'll just open this up and we'll just show you exactly what comes in this box. Um, right here this would be where the four batteries are. Um, they're free, uh, what do you, what, which uh, batteries? Um, LR44 batteries and uh, they come um, just right there, but I already installed them inside the laser. Uh, you have the the tactical ring, as they call it there, but that's really just the mount. Uh, right here is the pressure switch, and you have two tools in this slot here. So and once you have it installed, you're going to just want to check it. Uh, make sure the ring is secure. If it's not secure, you tighten up the two side um, screws. And if the laser itself is a little bit uh, loose, you want to tighten up the middle one to show you the other side there. Um, there's nothing too much to really show, I mean it's just a mount really. Um, once you have it installed, assuming you have the batteries in, you can see that the laser will work on it as well. Uh, it is a red laser, there, I don't think there are any green laser variants, uh, but I could be wrong. There are. An, there is an assault rifle variant, which I believe is just um, you know, a longer version of this. It's nothing particularly too different, and maybe the battery it takes. Um, there also is a pressure switch that I didn't install. I didn't install it primarily because uh, this doesn't come with any um, tape or any glue sort of on the side, so if you do install it, you'll notice that it's just going to kind of hang down. So you want to get some like double-sided tape or something for that, primarily because it um, it's going to be kind of annoying just to keep holding it up. But you can't really just put it to your handle and it'll stay. It's, it's loose. So I didn't install that just for that reason, but the way the pressure switch works, in case you're not familiar with it, is you'd have it attached to your back there and every time you push this the laser would go on every time you release it the laser would turn off so if that's something you prefer instead of having the back switch which is um, it's a very solid switch by the way it is not going to go off in transit most likely or turn on so that's a good advantage of that but uh, if you want to switch it's always on and you only have to hit the back when you want it off if that's something you prefer, I mean, it really comes down to preference. There's really no advantage to them either way. So uh, that's just a comment on that as well. Uh, you might be wondering, like, why am I talking about this? Um, or, you know, you could just tape a red laser to the bottom. Um, if, you've read, if you watch the other video, the reason you don't do that is primarily because you have the wind and elevation adjustments. Now, if you want to use this gun, and you don't want to have to maybe aim down the sights all the time, or you want to be more accurate when you aim down the sights, you're going to want to have that windage and uh, elevation adjustment. Uh, if you don't have that, it's not going to be very accurate, and you're just going to kind of have, assuming you just taped a red laser um, down there, it's just going to point wherever you kind of taped it, and you, you can never get it adjusted above the, um, above the sights there. So that's just um, something to keep in mind if, in case you're kind of wondering, like, why would anybody buy this? Uh, one of the great advantages of this, I'll just talk about the advantages first, um, it's all metal. It's uh, aircraft aluminum, and it is very, very lightweight. It doesn't weigh the front of this gun down at all. It's You won't even notice that it's there, really. I haven't noticed it. As well, you have the advantage of it being um, secured by screws. That way you know, and unlike the easy clip-ons, they have a tendency, some of them, not all of them, uh, like the Walther FL, FLR650, have a tendency to become loose. Um, with this, you have it screwed on, so there is a highly unlikely chance that it's going to come loose. One thing to keep in mind is when there is recoil from the weapon itself, your adjustments may change, so you want to just keep in mind that if it's getting a little less accurate to just maybe readjust it. Um, another advantage of it is again the pressure switch and the solid button here. I don't know if you can actually hear that, but it's a very solid quality button. Um, I mean basically this is just a laser. You can attach it to a handgun, an airsoft gun, or a real gun. There's no discrimination. 
between any of them. You could probably put it to an assault rifle, but there is a better variant, I believe, for that. I think it's just longer, actually, but um, you could probably easily attach this to that as well. And again, this is lightweight. The only disadvantage I have with this is actually the fact that it is screwed on. Um, if you want to transfer it from one um, weapon to another, you're going to have to continuously unscrew this and then do the same process that I just showed you on how to install it onto the other one. Um, that's That just kind of takes up more time and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I mean, it is a good product. Maybe you want to buy more than one. Uh, this, is, this is on Airgun Source website. I'll post the link and the price in the video. And, um, yeah, I'll just show you quickly to show you the manual in case you're interested in it. It is actually more or less interesting. There's uh, one of the models. Isn't the one I installed. It's, this one is the longer variant. And as well, this is the one that we are talking about right now. And just some quick little facts. You can pause the video in case I'm going too fast. Uh, I'm just going to show you these anyways. And just show you them all. And you have like your uh, instructions here on how to install it, how to use it. Um, you might want to, just, just if you've never used these before, you're probably going to want to just look at this. It just gives you a better idea. I haven't really explained how to adjust it and whatnot uh, because I don't really have the space right now to, to show you that and I'm not going to be shooting it off in this video and then just your one year warranty. So if you get a chance, check this out. It's uh, actually for the price you pay for it. I mean, this is something that's probably going to last you for probably ever as long as you just keep replacing the batteries. So um, check it out. Have the link in the description and I'll have another video soon.